and Caleb's opponent fighting out the blue corner from Ni Yai Muay Thai, Mark Innes! So Callum Chris Silipa from Darlington, Paul Pearson's gym. And we've got now coming in Mark Innes, Ni Yai Muay Thai, Christian De Paolo in Sheffield. With a big bad bear in the corner with him. Big bad bear. And I can see a poster off to my left and your left. Uh, Helen, look, it says T Bone Tomahawk. Knee eye warrior. Love it. Love it. Mark Innes got a thick set of legs on him. He has, indeed, big calves. Seventy-three kilo. This as well. Callum's got the uh, slight height advantage. Javelin ram boy. Oh, I love it. Or the spear, should I say? So red corner, Callum Crisp Silipa over in Darlington. Paul Pearson. And in the blue corner, Mark Innes, Ni Yai Muay Thai. Taught by crew, Christian De Paolo. Who, like we've said before, needs no introduction. Rambo, wasn't it, his fight oh. name? Uh, yes. One of them. Very sort of square on. Presenting a big target for that tee that Callum's throwing. Yeah. 
Callum again is a taller opponent. He's sort of gone for those classic tactics, long straight shots, teeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping the shorter man away. Not throwing any knees yet, but long, low kicks. Mark's not really stepping in with that jab, though, to actually close that distance. For me, Mark's just letting Callum have too much of his own yeah. way in that first round. Might be a little bit of nerves. You know, sometimes you might just want to see what they've got in that first round. But um, they just let him have a little bit too much of his own way. I mean, in terms of offence, an effective offence, it was Callum all the way. Yeah, absolutely. So more of the same from Callum, maybe some uh, knees as well. Let's see if uh, Mark can bridge that distance, close the gap, get in and start throwing some of those overhand rights. And the movement is just a, a sort of moving target for Callum, isn't it? Yeah. He's moving forward, he's not really no. he's throwing single shots. Callum's starting to punish the body now. That's it, Callum using that teeth to his advantage. First time to engage in the clinch. Callum's throwing them. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, Mark is. But Callum comes back now. So he's using that range that he's got the longer legs and sort of pushing his backside out to create that distance yeah. to drive those knees in if I was Mark being the shorter guy I'd drop low, get the hands around the waist and start the kneeing legs. those legs it's difficult trying to clinch with somebody who's tall and trying to dominate Yeah, they will naturally be able to dominate better than you because they have that high advantage oh, long knee there by uh, Callum and again, Marks, he sort of gets close to closing the distance and then backs off again. He's not throwing anything really to cause Callum to worry. No, he's not, no. Another good round for Callum. You just see at the back of his left leg as well, that the redness, redness yep. starting. It's a case that you know, Mark clearly knows what he needs to do. He's just yeah. not pulling the trigger all the way. Yeah, yeah. No doubt if he listens to his corner, he'll make the adjustments Absolutely. he needs to, to start to really hit home on Callum. As it stands currently, Callum's looking fairly relaxed. He's getting, he's had it all his own way for mm -hmm. the first two rounds. Yeah, yeah. Not really been troubled by anything. No, no, no. Expect to see Callum put his foot on the accelerator now. Let's see what Mark can do. Yeah. So Mark's pressing forward, but he's not pressing forward with offense. And he just keeps running straight into that team that Callum's throwing. Callum now nicely sort of moving around, throwing the leg kick as he's moving back. And even though it's just sort of toe ending with those leg kicks, he's having an oh, impact. Oh, that head kick. That, head that kick. really found it home. That just caught him at the top of the head. It's all the more reason why Mark's got to close that range, which he's done now. And he's punishing the legs. He needs to get in there. But close that range without taking any damage. Yeah, 
Callum making Mark pay the price for closing that range. Callum throws some knees, but Mark come, comes back with one or two of his own. Oh, nice overhand there. That's the kind of thing he needs to be doing. But again, Callum punishing him. Better round for Mark. Yeah, but much better round for Mark. But Callum still, still firmly in control of it. Yeah. It's almost like Mark's happier to sort of jump in to close that range rather than work his way through. Yeah. Yeah. And every time he moves forward, he's just being met by that teep. You know, he's just getting pushed back. Mark's really got to make an impression this round. He's really got to make Callum think twice about fighting his fight. Callum straight back to what he's been doing for the last three rounds. I mean, to be fair, Callum really hasn't got to change his game plan. He's had success, you know, what he's been doing in, in the rounds before, so he really hasn't got to change it up. I, think I mean, with Mark, there's, there's no... There's no fainting, there's no stepping off to the side to try and make it a little bit more difficult to be read. He's marching straight in, square on, and he's presenting that massive target for Callum. And not questioning his heart, he's clearly a brave kid, he's a strong Absolutely. kid. Absolutely. But he's taking punishment that he doesn't really need to. I think Callum's corner's told him to get on that leading leg. I think they've noticed that redness on the back of Mark's leg. And the problem Mark's got, he's trying to do the little sort of shuffle back to avoid the leg kick, but because Callum's so long, he's still yeah, catching yeah, him. Yeah, 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 he is, yeah. And again, you're right, Helen. Oh, there we go. You, you said it, you said it, Helen. And it says something for a TIE fighter to drop another TIE fighter with low kicks, because it's bread and butter, it's what someone's trained for and taken time yeah, and time yeah, again. Yeah. Real definitive, dis resounding victory there for Callum Crisp. And unfortunately, I think Mark's a, a victim of his own heart. Yeah. Too, too strong, too brave. But I think that last, you know, before this round, I think that's what his corner said. They've, they've noticed that redding of the leg and said, go after that lead leg, go after that lead leg. Which, like you said, Mark, such a brave guy. Huge heart. Just, just unfortunately adopted the wrong tactics for, yeah. a, for the yeah. kind of opponent that he was facing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, mercifully, the damage doesn't seem to be too significant. I'm sure he'll be back. show sportsmanship as well yeah absolutely you know Callum went straight down to make sure you're all right and, and like we've, we've spoke about before nobody wants anybody to get hurt yeah everybody wants to make sure everybody's okay